Are we ready to start the roast battle? Let's get it. This is my man, is he lunchbox? Folks, let's start the chant. Battle! battle Come on! Battle! I love it, 5 o'clock crowd. You're the best! Austin, Texas, this is the world-famous Rose Battle. Are we ready? You're firing squad for the evening. You saw him do some stand-up earlier. Make a lot for my man over there, Zach Amico. Here, Zach, scoot over a little bit. We gotta, there's no light. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Perfect, you look great. At least one half of you does. Uh, all the way in the corner over here, season two winner of Jeff Ross presents Rose Battle on Paramount Plus right now. Make a laugh for Frank Castillo. Hello. Yeah, hey, what's up? Good set, Frank. Thank you. These two ladies in the middle right here, Catherine Blanford, Don't Tell Comedy, Rachel Wolfson, Jackass, keep it going. And as part of our silent protest here at the Rose Battle, we brought an adult entertainer that you guys can't look up in this state. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going for Alexis Fox! Alexis Fox! Yeah. Yeah, ladies, look at all your men right now. They know exactly who she is. And there's gonna be some fights now. All right, uh, this guy over here, I love him so much, man. This is my co-host for the uh, RBL Weekly Podcast. He's the Rose Battle League Commissioner. He wrote for the Tom Brady Rose on Netflix right now. That's Pat Barker. Yeah. Early show, Pat. RBL Austin, what do we got tonight? Got a good one tonight, man. Five incredible battles, four of uh, four battles of Austin's best uh, battlers, and then we got an LA versus New York matchup in the middle. Uh, I know it's a little bit early to be laughing, laughing at fucked up shit, but we need you guys to be with it. We need you guys to be bloodthirsty. We need you guys to to want someone to die up there. Okay? Can we do that? Oh, they do. They heard Zach sitting. They were going crazy. They're ready for this. <laughs> They're fucking ready for this. All right, let's uh, let's get into it. Lunchbox, how you feeling? Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> All right, first battle of the night. Let's just get into it. Uh, this guy's from Austin, Texas. Make it loud. Jack Timmons. Yes. Hello. Jack, you're so handsome. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Brian. What's up with the outfit tonight? All black? Yeah, I'm doing a black thing. What? <laughs> I mean, not like that, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> The no, you're end. not. You're on time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jack, you're not like us. All right, let's... Um... Thank God. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Your, uh, your opponent, Scotty Fillmore. Uh, yeah. Who called who out? Why are you doing this? Uh, I think Scott called me out, but I was happy to, man. We've been friends for a while, and uh, he's a fat gay guy, so, you know? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Did you say fag gay guy? No, no, no. Oh. But I mean, yeah, but no. He's a fat gay guy. <laughs> All right. Well, let's meet this thick individual who's homosexual. <laughs> From Utah, wild. Make it loud. Scott Fillmore. <laughs> Scotty, he said, some, he said some slurs about you and me. Yeah, he's really uh, getting a good start tonight, Jack. Good, yes, uh, Good head start. <laughs> I like how we look like the new Democratic ticket that's coming out this. That's right. <laughs> I'm Kamala. Yes. <laughs> and I'm Pete Buttigieg. Hey. Right, uh, hey. There's a couple anyway. of tops hanging out. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Blacks and gays, baby. We're taking over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, right. Nobody saw it coming. <laughs> Disgusting. Why? Why him? I'm just excited. I've never roasted another gay guy before. I'm All really, right. Uh... <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Spit roasting doesn't count. <laughs> it will for this one. Five jokes, one round. Jack! Scott, who's going first? Ladies. No, no. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> Utah! Texas! Hey, Scott. Yeah, let's Jack, go. Jack, Scott, let's roast! All right, all right. I'm glad, uh, glad Jack could be here tonight. I've been a little worried about you. It's uh, pretty obvious your, your conversion therapy is starting to wear off. 
Oh, Scott's great. Uh, what can I say about Scott that hasn't been said about him in a foreign language at a restaurant? Uh, <laughs> Scott, Scott actually is gay. He came out to his parents six years ago. He, he sat him down and he, he just told him, he said, Udu gabula la sok penis. <laughs> Put your hood up real quick. You look like one of them little what? sand guys. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, Jack, you look like the president of a f frat for shy eighth graders. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, he's rushing beta, beta, beta this month. <laughs> now, Scott, uh, he's from Utah. He's from Salt Lake. He, uh, he actually moved here after he drank the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> Hey, Salt Lake, you look like you're from Land O'Lakes. You've been... <laughs> it's pretty low-hanging fruit, Jack. I, <laughs> I know that's the only fruit you can reach. All right, uh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. The lifts are coming in the mail, I swear to God. <laughs> uh, Jack, you look like you got fired from Santa's workshop for putting Zinn in kids' stockings. <laughs> That's a good gift. I don't see what's wrong with that. Scott, uh, Scott looks like he, uh, when he sucks a dick, he puts a hot dog bun on it first. And mustard. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen mayo on a hot dog. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, he's never seen it. <laughs> Jack, uh, Jack's actually been spreading, spreading a rumor about me around town. He's telling everybody that I have a really big crush on him. Jack, for the last time, I'm not into pussy. <laughs> no, pussy you can't actually eat. Uh... <laughs> hey, Sc <laughs> This is sad. Hey, Scott, if you're here, how come no one's pointing and laughing? <laughs> <This is laughs> fucking stupid, Jack. Last joke. Uh, Jack, uh, Jack used to date a, a deaf woman, and uh, he only ever learned one phrase in sign language the whole time they were together, because she signed it to him every single day. The only phrase he ever learned was, uh, Jack, if you're gay, you can just tell me. <laughs> Did you do this for the gay thing, or was it this? Ah, <laughs> uh, I've been signing the wrong, all right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Scott, uh, Scott's gay. I was talking to him earlier. He said he's glad he was not around during the 80s. The, uh, Wendy's biggie bag did not exist back then, and... <laughs> My God, he just would have killed himself. He just... <laughs> <laughs> I've been wondering where Carl's Jr. came from. <laughs> totally worth it. One more time, <laughs> Scott Fillmore! And that's Jack Timmons. Kiss. Kiss, kiss, no, kiss, no. kiss, no, kiss, no, 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 kiss, no. kiss, kiss. No, no, no. No. Pussy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, gay guys are getting tough. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. You I know, like, this is what straight guys do. We put roofies in drinks. That's uh, how you get... Hey, yeah. I mean, I don't know about all of us. <laughs> yeah, you you're... gotta be able to reach the drink to put the roofie in. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Whatever. He's got a three-point shot of roofie. <laughs> Curry. You also have to be straight, Jack. All right. Oh, what uh, the fuck? Let's start with Zach and Miko here. Which one of these WWE fans did you like? Oh, great battle, guys. You look like the hipster reboot, uh, reboot of Timon and Pumbaa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both very, very funny, but I think Jack had the bigger pop, so I'm going to go with Jack on that one, but... Both of you fucking killed it. You should be very proud of yourself. Thanks, man. Uh, Catherine Blanford, who'd you like in this Gen Z version of Over the Top? Jesus. Um, it was on. I I loved this uh, low budget Tommy Boy. I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> um, <laughs> 
I th- the jokes are really good, but y'all's comebacks were unbelievable. The the you never seen mayo, and then Jack, you're like you can't actually eat pussy. I think you actually believe that. So <laughs> that was. Um, uh, I don't. It's really, really, really close. But I think overall, I'm gonna have to go with Jack. Whoa! Thank you. All right, Alexis Fox. Who do you like? Patriot front or Patriot back door? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a great first battle for sure. Um, I really enjoyed uh, Jack's, uh, what was it, dick in a hot dog bun? Yeah. I knew you'd like that one. Yeah. Really. <laughs> <laughs> of course I would. Pornhub, <laughs> Pornhub, <laughs> Pornhub. Reminded me of a scene I did. But uh, yeah, I thought you definitely had a lot, of, a lot more pops from the audience. I love the comebacks from both of you guys, but I am going to go with Jack on this one. Thank you. Ooh. All right, more for Jack. Rach! This was like a battle between a before and after photo. <laughs> <laughs> which one's um, which? <laughs> you tell me, so, I think. <laughs> before and after coming out. I yeah, think. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, both of these jokes are amazing. It's really difficult to decide on uh, a winner. I love Jack's Salt Lake joke. Um, and um, I'm going to give one to Scott. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I like Jack's joke, but I'm going to go with his opponent. Okay. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to judge. Uh, Frank Castillo. Who do you like? Uh, both. Great job. So fun. The rep- like the back and forth was really cool. You could tell you were tagging each other's jokes up. Like you could tell you guys are friends. Very, very good jokes. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Scott and uh, yeah, you I mean you, I'm excited about your guys' new uh, cover band with uh, Tenacious D. Tenaciously delicious. <laughs> Tenaciously delicious? Tenaciously delicious. Yeah, all right, good job, Scott. <laughs> No, my bad. Good job, Jack. Yeah, good job, Jack. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. All right, yeah. Commission, take us home. We would have also accepted Tenacious D Cups uh, for future mm. reference. Uh, this was a great, great opening battle. Reno 911 came out swinging, but then Meatloaf kind of evened it up in the middle. Um, Scott, I, I, I love your shirt. I love that you're so fat when they're like designing your shirts. They're like, I don't know, the sky? <laughs> What's the most vast, infinite thing we can put on this fat motherfucker? Um, <laughs> Scott looks like... A, it, this is a fucked up joke, but we're in Texas. He, he looks like the jo- reason they had to make pickup trucks stronger because they were like, we can't drag the gay guys behind him anymore. We don't have enough horsepower. <laughs> we need a Hemi. You gotta um, get a okay. Hemi. <laughs> Built tough, baby. <laughs> yeah. Built for tough, hell yeah. Dude, Scott, you were so fucking entertaining. All of your, like, off-the-cuff things were great. The way you owned sucking dick in a hot dog bun. You mm-hmm. were like, yeah, let's throw a condiment on there. I fuck with that. Super heavy. It was great. Um, and uh, it was a pun, yes. And your zin in stockings was uh, maybe my favorite joke of the battle, but I thought Jack was a little bit more consistent the whole way through, and I'm going to give it to Jack. Your cool. winner of Thank the first battle of the evening, Mr. Jack Timmons. Hey! Hug each other. Don't let football season get the start on you without making a book with my bookie. It says none of that. And also, you didn't start with the top line, Josh. We're supposed to be loose. Right, but I'm saying that sentence didn't make any sense, what you said. True, true. Uh, that was That's very retarded of me. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Don't let football season pass you by without making an extra buck or two with my bookie. No, you're supposed to say it from the top, you know? Uh, my, Rose Bell, my bookie, September 9th. Code. It's so simple. Even these two can bet. There's no need to download an app. Just click the link in the show notes, sign up, and you're ready to bet. When you're ready to get started, use the code ROAST, R-O-A-S-T, to claim a bonus that doubles your money on your very first deposit. You heard that right. Double your money with the code ROAST, R-O-A-S-T, before you even place a bet. That's R-O-A-S-T to start the season off with house money. Don't ever miss out on the action. Bet anything, anywhere, anytime, only with my bookie. Yeah! Battle! Battle! Outstanding stuff tonight. Pat, talk about the sponsor we got on the desk. Uh, so this entire event um, is sponsored by Neft Vodka. 
Uh, if you guys enjoy getting fucked up with the smoothest possible liquor, where you can drink a whole barrel of this shit, you won't even feel it until it's way, way, way too late, these are the guys for you. Yeah, you'll be dead from alcohol poisoning. No, 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 you'll just, I mean, but if you die, you'll die doing what you love, which is drinking Neft Vodka. It's a hell of a, it's a hell of a promo right there. You want ad reads? You got one! All right, this next battle I'm excited about. Uh, this gentleman works here at the, com at the comedy store. My bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Comedy store South. <laughs> he works here. He runs the Rose Battle League Austin. We love him. Make a laugh for Adam Lucky. What's up, Brian? What up, big dog? Doing good, man. Looking good. Is that true? Do I really look? <laughs> Would you fuck me? <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. Don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you look like you're about to make Baby Reindeer 2. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, dude. That guy did pretty good. I'll yeah. do it. <laughs> That's much better than I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, you're battling Grant Adcock. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, well, I've been working here since we opened. I've always been the scariest looking door guy. And now nice. Grant started working here, and he's kind of trying to come at that title. And I'm, not, I'm about it, dude. I want to be the guy people are afraid to go to the bathroom when they're in there. Okay. <laughs> That's what... And I'm always in the ladies one. <laughs> Classic Lucky. All right. This guy coming to the stage also works here. Very funny guy. Make it loud. Grant Adcock. I don't think it's scary. I think you guys are going for ugliest employee at the mothership. <laughs> that hurt. What the fuck? <laughs> it's all right. Anyway. It's okay. Uh, why are you battling Kathy Bates? It was about a month ago, and um, he was like, hey, man, June 21st, 5 o'clock, do you want to roast? He said, it's good to be here. <laughs> <laughs> it's 6.30, sorry we're so late. Uh, That's a true story, too, <laughs> believe it or not. That actually happened. <laughs> One round, five jokes, alternative guys, who's going first? Grant can go first. first okay, this is Grant, this is Adam. Let's roast! You guys might uh, recognize Adam from uh, Sleep Paralysis. Uh, <laughs> Adam looks like the reason you try to cover your feet at night. <laughs> it's not gonna do you any good, I'll still get you. <laughs> I got long nails, not on my fingers. <laughs> Grant's, a, Grant's a pretty fucking goofy looking fucking idiot guy. Uh, he kind of looks like before he goes out on a girl, he just stuffs a napkin in his collar. <laughs> and then when he's done, he looks up and goes, that was scrumptious. <laughs> Keep it going for uh, long legs. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. That movie ruled. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> fucking, uh... I actually had a ghostwriter help me with this one. Um, Adam can't even walk through walls, he's such a bitch. Uh, fuck! <laughs> that one really got me. Yeah, right. damn. <laughs> Grant, uh, Grant didn't grow up religious or anything, but he did spend a couple years volunteering as an altar boy because he likes a wiener in his butt because he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> right? He's fucking gay as hell. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> All right. Um, Adam used to be addicted to eating painkillers. He looks like he was addicted to eating bugs. <laughs> Only for money. I don't play for free. <laughs> yeah, Grant's kind of a dumb doofus retard idiot, pretty hardcore. Uh, <laughs> back in high school, he actually tried shooting up the school with finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> no, I'm not. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Adam claims to be an expert on the ocean. <laughs> hey, Adam, pressing your dick against aquarium glass doesn't make you an expert. <laughs> Depends on the country. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, Grant, uh, Grant, when he has sex, he's not into small talk. Instead, he just looks you in the eyes and just talks about the weather. <laughs> it's been hot, huh? And then the girls are usually like, how'd you get in here? <laughs> Adam is uh, Jewish. He really, puts the, uh, he really puts the Jew in, don't you guys fucking wish this guy was dead? <laughs> I'm so pale, I might be dead. <laughs> I've just done enough coke to keep me going for another 12 years. <laughs> I'm weakened to burning myself right now. I was trying to get some information about Grant, and he's like, Here's, this is my girlfriend, you can call her. So I called her, and uh, her response was, uh, I was like, How, what do you think about Grant? And she's like, I don't fucking know that guy. Tell him to stop throwing rocks at my house and give me my fucking dog back. <laughs> so, sounds like he's got a pretty lame relationship, to be honest. Nah, she loves me. All right. <laughs> she just doesn't know it yet. All right. um, Adam's teeth are kind of messed up. Uh, it's not from the meth. It's um, actually from eating all the candy out of his van. Yeah, Grant is like actually legitimately retarded. That is true. He hit his head, and now he's a big dumb, dumb doofus brains. And uh, people actually call him Rain Man, not because he's like smart and retarded, just because he's retarded and he literally likes to play in the rain <laughs> for hours. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Grant Adcock, and that's Adam Lucky. All right. Uh, <laughs> Frank, I know this looks like the last battle. They're just in different spots. Who do you like? Oh, man, I actually liked this a lot. And I think uh, anyone who needs help uh, getting walked to their car later should uh, team up with somebody. And no, uh, both of you are very funny. Adam, I love how creepy. You really own looking like a uh, old person and a young person uh, going through a time machine. <laughs> Uh, Grant, so funny. You look like it's cr the school shooter joke did make me laugh because you do look like you'd shoot up a school with a potato gun. Uh, Grant, you look like you know which P. Terry's has the best calibrated soda machine. Uh, uh, five mile radius. All right, Adam, you had good jokes, but I really like Grant's jokes just because they were really like not too harsh, but just weird and like really just out there. Like the sleep paralysis, cover your feet was really fucking funny. <laughs> The long legs was great, and then the aquarium dick against the glass really made me fucking laugh. Uh, but the give me your dog back, Grant, uh, was funny. <laughs> Not, I mean, Adam. Um, but I got to go with Grant on this one. Great job, oh! Grant. Yeah, good job. One for Grant Adcock. Rachel Wolfson, who'd you like in Dude, Where's My Tint? Because <laughs> um, <laughs> they look homeless. Yeah, I got oh. that. Um, <laughs> uh, Adam Lucky, uh, great I don't know what that was. Um, I liked your use of dumb, doofus, retard. Thank uh, you. I'm bringing it back. <laughs> it's like your version of Eat, Pray, Love. Um, <laughs> um, I think the only thing lucky about you is your last name. Um, <laughs> the term getting lucky means something completely different to the girls you sleep with. Um, <laughs> yeah, it means they got to live. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> Why are people clapping? <laughs> We're all in the same boat, right, boys? <laughs> yeah, um, they don't want to die, Frank. They're like, we like him. <laughs> I liked your finger guns joke. Um, Grant, uh, I like the sleep paralysis uh, joke and um, the Jewish joke, obviously. Um, <laughs> obviously. Um, and because <laughs> I'm Jewish, Catherine. Oh, I can say oh, it. Oh, I thought you were a Gross. Nazi. That's cool, too. Though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm Jewish, but only financially. Don't get it twisted. Um, um, I'm going uh, to give it to Grant this time. Oh! Yeah. All right. Two for Grant. Catherine Blanford, which of these serial killers is your favorite? Um, I, this was a really fun battle for me. I really like this because I, I always wondered this, and this proved to me that sometimes there is no good side effects of being autistic. Uh, I was like, I knew it. Um, 
I thought this was a pretty even, good battle. Um, uh, Adam, I really liked your the play in the rain at the very end. Both of your last jokes were my favorite. Grant, your uh, eating candy out of the van was one of my favorites of yours. Um, I'm going to give it to Grant. Whoa! Three for Grant. All right, Alexis. Which one of these unfuckables would you fuckable? <laughs> This is like a battle against stepdad, against stepson. <laughs> <laughs> Who's who? <laughs> yeah. You ain't no stepmom over here. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, I thought it was a really good battle. I really enjoyed Adam's comebacks. Uh, I did like a lot of Grant's jokes, the sleep paralysis, covering the feet, the dick in the aquarium, and the candy in the van really just topped it off. So I'm going to give it to Grant. Yes, Zach Amica. Adam Lucky and Grant Adcock. Adcock is also the first step in Alexis's career notes. <laughs> Just Adcock. <laughs> you guys look like the difference uh, between a hitchhiker serial killer and a trucker serial killer. <laughs> Different eras. <laughs> Adam, you look like you fuck the animals that Grant pets to death. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, you look like the mother of those animals. <laughs> Give me good back litter. my boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real elephant in the room there. <laughs> uh, you guys are both fucking really funny, but the, the van candy thing. I, this, I'm shaped like a van and I love candy, so you really got me. I'm going to go with uh, Grant on this, but again, great job, guys. Hell Be yeah. very proud of yourselves. Nice. All right, Pat. Who'd you like in this uh, of mice and men if they were both Lemmy? I don't know. I'm 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 starting to think that white white power summer was a bad idea. <laughs> Just come right out and say it. Uh, this is a great battle between two door guys who look like they lick windows. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the cool thing is, no matter who wins tonight, you both go have, have to go pick up trash for eight dollars an hour after this. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. One of you is about to be really happy while picking up trash, and one of you is about to be really sad. You're never happy during it. Yeah. <laughs> There's always a lot of sadness, deep down. And you have to stand by the door when they leave. Like, whoever lost, you have to be like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. No, I'll be better next time. Uh, no, I mean, the judges have already weighed in. I do want to say from Adam, uh, shooting up the school with finger guns is so fucking funny, and I love the way you just let everything kind of like roll off of you, and you, you just, you had a lot of fun up there, but Grant, I think from the beginning, that sleep paralysis one-two punch, I felt like you were just in control kind of from that moment on, and uh, congratulations, man. Good job. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank Second battle of the night, Grant and Cox hug each other. That's Grant. That's Adam Lucky. Fun stuff. Guys, make some noise for MC Lunchbox here. He's right here. All right, third battle, exciting stuff. This is New York versus LA, a battle as old as time. Damn right. Let's meet New York first. This lady's from Austin, then she moved to New York because she wanted to become better at stand-up. Uh, <laughs> and it's working. Make a laugh for Brittany Ledesma. Hey, Britt. Hey, girl. Ouch. Why, uh, you're battling Ryan Nesson. Why Ryan Nesson? Who called who out? I just want to roast the biggest bully from the 80s. He's old. They haven't seen him yet. Let's bring him out. Uh, he's from Los Angeles. He's married. Whew. Ryan Nesson. Yeah, no, 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 you're fine, yeah. I was still upset about being called old. I'm like, fucking, sweep the leg, Johnny. Fucking. God it's a damn. very old reference you just I know, made. I know, yeah. I'm leaning into it. Fuck. Holy shit. Was that 83? Gross. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're battling Brittany, Brittany Ledesma here. Who called who out? Why are you doing this to you her? You guys set it up for us, yeah, but it's going to be fun, I feel like. I, I'm a big fan of... <laughs> I'm a fan of the movie Independence Day, so beating an alien at the mothership sounds like a lot of fun. Uh... <laughs> Si se puede. <laughs> I get that. She's Mexican, that kind of alien. Okay, perfect. Yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. Illegal, not extraterrestrial. Could Facts. be both. It's up for debate. <laughs> All right, cool. One round. Cinco jokes. It's for you. <laughs> Gracias. De nada. K? <laughs> K 
queso. Who's going first? I'll go first. Yeah. You got this? Yeah, I got You're this. You're a gentleman. Are we ready? Right. LA, New York, let's roast! Guys, I want to thank Brittany for coming out tonight and uh, showing us the dangers of getting plastic surgery in Tijuana. Uh, I mean, look at that nose. I've never heard of childbearing nostrils before. <laughs> they were made for cocaine, okay? <laughs> Doesn't Ryan look like he's shadow boxed in the mirror before this? <laughs> Ryan's Jewish, you can tell because he's miserable to be around. <laughs> he also has erectile dysfunction, so the only thing he can inflate are numbers. Oh, man. God. Getting bullied by a Mexican, her whole family's great swimmers. That's how they got here. Uh, <laughs> Brittany is a uh, Mexican with irritable bowel syndrome. Yeah, which is an even grosser type of wet back. Yeah. <laughs> it's bloody. <laughs> uh, Ryan looks like he says wait for the drop to songs by Imagine Dragons. Brittany, your, uh, your voice sounds like a dry hand job feels. Uh, <laughs> oh, the blow jobs are just as dry. <laughs> <laughs> Such a weird visual. Uh, <laughs> all right, Brittany has dyslexia and she's been raped five times. Give it up for that. Uh, no, I'm just joking. Don't give it up for that. I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being so dyslexic, you can't even read a dangerous situation. She was just like, on means on. <laughs> Keep it going for the oldest pledge brother. <laughs> he was an F.A.G. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Ryan's the type of guy to correct your form at the gym. No, you gotta say it with a hard R. Keep it going for areolas grande. Uh, Brittany, uh, <laughs> Brittany's had a lot of sex. Sorry, Brittany's had elote sex. She's fucked corn. Uh, she was a real slut in high school. They used to call her the bean because she was just another free hole, eh? Uh, <laughs> Keep it going for Jake Paul's agent. <laughs> Making that uh, money. <laughs> uh, Ryan's from Simi Valley. Sorry, I meant Seaman Valley. That's also what he calls his butt cheeks. His asshole is so shredded, it's got more rings than an old oak tree. <laughs> Last joke. Yikes. <laughs> uh, Brittany, as you heard earlier, moved from Texas to New York to pursue her dreams, getting abortions. Uh, <laughs> Once a week, oh, baby. Yeah. Her pussy's had more hooks in it than Drake's last song. <laughs> and twice the beef. Uh, <laughs> it do be like Arby's down there. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Ryan has the vibe that he could be ex-military, but the only thing he fights is his limp dick. He even has to take Jew to, to keep his nose up. Choo-choo, choo-choo, choo-choo. <laughs> didn't work. No, no, they, they don't want to get fired, but they, they don't know they can't be seen. Uh, all right, keep uh, it going. Brittany Ledesma! <laughs> Ryan Nesson. It's a Spanglish battle. That was wild. Uh, I'm going to start with the RBL commissioner here. Who would you like in this, whatever the fuck this is? Yeah, man. I mean, this looked like a battle you would see in child custody court, to be honest. <laughs> um... Great start by AOC minus, but then she started to teeter a little bit. Um, Ryan, I, I love that you were like, you know what? Two jokes in, it's not going the way I want. Let's talk about her getting raped five times. Let's see how that works. What could go wrong? And it's a testament to how good your, your jokes were because you said she was raped. And the crowd was like, oh no, don't talk about that. And then you hit the on means on, which is very, very funny. 
I did like, there was also a theme at the beginning where Brittany was like, he's Jewish and has ED. And you were like, she's Mexican and has IBS. And it was like, it was, you guys were, we were dancing up there. It was crazy. But um, yeah, the wordplay on free whole A and the it, elote, it sucked. I hated it. It was so good. The crowd loved it. Um, somehow it was both at the same time. And the getting abortions thing was, uh, was amazing. The wetbacks, uh, cl- text, textbook racism, brother. Well done. <laughs> That's what I do. White, what I do. White Power Summer's back on. Hell yeah. Um, I'm going to give it to Ryan. Hell yeah. All right, Alexis, who do you like here? Uh, the maid or the tech bro that's leaving his wife for her? Oh, my. <laughs> um, I thought Brittany had a lot of really good comebacks. I really enjoyed the cocaine comeback, and I'm hot after the rape joke. Uh, <laughs> but Ryan, I really enjoyed a lot of uh, his wordplay and just uh, the on and off. <laughs> or on means on was really good for me, so I'm going to go with Ryan. Thank you. Two for Ryan. They don't agree. <laughs> this battle looks like a guy arguing with his hooker that he should get half the money back because he couldn't get hard. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take Bitcoin? <laughs> <laughs> you guys look like Dora the Explorer visited the Jersey Shore. <laughs> Let's go, yeah. Rape Cinco times, huh? Cinco. Cinco is what Moses does in the pool. <laughs> I'm black, so we, we don't swim. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Ryan, the, the wordplay shit really got me. The free hole, all that shit. You're both very funny. Be very happy for yourselves. But, man, you really dug in on that Mexican stuff, and it really made me laugh, dude. I'm going Ryan on the second. <laughs> Build those walls. All right. Uh, <laughs> pussy walls. Ooh. Frank Castillo. Uh, great job, guys. This does look like Ryan's trying to return his mail order bride, and he's like, I wanted the Asian one. Um, <laughs> man, Ryan, you sh- it's always so funny whenever I see where you put a joke. You know what I mean? Like, I was just like, right in the middle. This is going to be interesting to see him dig himself out of. And it was great because the audience was like, oh, this is uncomfortable. And then immediately was on Britney's side. And then she did a few jokes. And they're like, all right, maybe we'll give Ryan another chance. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, I love, dude, I, I hate wordplay until it really gets me. And that free hole wordplay, I hated it, but I loved it so much. You great hate, job, you know, Ryan. You only hate it because you can't speak Spanish. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Yeah, I don't know what was going on up top. <laughs> Anyways, uh, good job, Ryan. Thank you. All right. Let's do it for one. Audience, I told you in the beginning, you're going to feel like you got molested up here. You didn't believe me. Now you heard rape, abortion, some fucking illegal Mexican jokes, all the fucking the textbook stuff we do here at Rose Battle. Let's go to two ladies here. Catherine Blanford, who'd you like? Um, I thought this was, this was a really fun battle. I, Ryan, you look like such a rich white boy. I can't believe you'd want to battle your parole officer. Um... <laughs> It was really fun. I, I really liked, uh, uh, I liked when you came back with the, it's, it's uh, when Brittany, you came back with it's bloody and cocaine. Um, your Imagine Dragons wait for it to drop joke was really fucking funny. No one's talked about that yet. Um, but uh, Ryan, I think you, the free hole is the funniest shit I've heard maybe up tonight and the, I, the IBS wet back. So I'm gonna give it to Ryan. Goddamn right. All right, bring us home here, Wolf. Who do you like, the UK prison guard or the inmate? Uh, this is a great fight uh, between David Schwimmer and Selena Gomez. I um, <laughs> uh, really loved it. So many, I, I loved Britney's comebacks, especially to the uh, rape joke, um, <laughs> the how she's hot. And, uh, uh, but like Catherine said, the free hole joke just brought it home for me. So I'm going to give it to Ryan. Yay! Clean sweep, ladies and gentlemen, from Los Angeles. Ryan Nesson! Yes! Hey everybody, Roast Battle League Commissioner Pat Barker here. You may know me as the funny guy who says the mean things to the battlers after they finish fighting, but I'm a little bit more than that. I'm also something of a health nut. I take my fitness very, very seriously. Okay, that was a lie. I don't but I'm about to now that I know about Factor. You see, I always thought I couldn't eat healthy because I don't have the time or knowledge or ability to cook my own meals. 
But fortunately, Factor has made it completely idiot-proof. If you have two minutes and a microwave, you can cook delicious meals at home. They come pre-packaged, never frozen, and there's lots of different options on their website in case you want to do keto or protein or low-calorie or all these things that I'm told are quite healthy. The truth is, I ordered my first Factor meals, and they are in route right now, so I will report back next week 60 pounds lighter. Or at least that's what I assume is going to happen. I've never eaten healthy before. Look, the bottom line is, if you head to factormeals.com slash roast50 and use code ROAST50, that's one word, R-O-A-S-T-5-0, you get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code ROAST50 at factormeals.com slash roast Roast five zero to get fifty percent off your first box plus twenty percent off of your next month while your subscription is active. Enjoy the roast. What? <laughs> One more time for Ryan Nesson and Brittany Ledesma. I, I would have went with Mambo number five. Fun stuff. All right, I'm excited about this next battle. Uh, this guy's from Austin, Texas. Make a laugh for Colton Jones! <laughs> Whatever one you want, baby. Hello, hello. Yes. Hi. Man. All right, keep it going. This is an all Austin battle. Keep it going for Colton. <laughs> all right. Colton, you dressed up. You look good. Uh, thanks. I just wore my normal jeans and shoes, but I put on a button-up shirt. All right. I love, I love competition. I'm excited to get it going. I hate how many autistic people are in stand-up comedy. It's the most annoying shit. All right. Uh, this next person coming to the stage. Make a laugh for Mr. Mike Eaton. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I know. I sound like this. <laughs> But also, how cool is it that I'm the hot one? <laughs> this has never happened. <laughs> I uh, feel like Alexis. <laughs> somebody doesn't read. <laughs> Why do all you guys in Austin look like this? <laughs> Every Austin battles look like this. Grant, Adam. I can't believe it's not brisket, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you fucking fat weirdos. <laughs> I think it's the fentanyl. It's definitely not Ozempic, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it made my tummy hurt. <laughs> fucking slow Zempic. Ozempic is Moses' cousin. <laughs> That's crazy. She Zach knows too. what Ozempic is. That yeah. is so wild. Did not think that was true. <laughs> yes, my cousin Ozempic Moses. She's playing tennis this year. Anyway, uh, she's as good as Serena. All right. Um, I don't know what's happening here. I really hate this. It just feels like you're looking at yourself in the future here. We look like an uh, uh, Oreo. This yeah. is pretty cool. Hey, I'm not as fat as Mike, right? Like, just reality <laughs> check. No, when, when, you get, when you get older, you, you lose. It doesn't matter. All right, let's... Why are you doing this to him? Am I? Uh, he was standing at the bottom of the stairs and making people answer riddles to come up to him. <laughs> so I was like, we got to put an end to that shit. <laughs> you got to stop doing that, Colton. <laughs> All right, one round, five jokes. Colton, Mike, who's going first? That guy. I'll That's go one. first. I love yeah, it. Let's just start, because I'm over this. Uh, <laughs> Mike, Colt, let's roast! Hey, Mike, the battle has started, buddy. You can stop holding your breath in. <laughs> Mike calls himself a foodie. I, I think he's, uh, you know, the foodiest. <laughs> Mike, you're about to lose a footy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Double chin diesel, everybody. Uh... uh Colton has a gap in his teeth. Uh, that's where his mom tried to use the hanger to get rid of him. That's so mean. No, Mike's... wait, wait. The rest of this face is the alcohol when the hanger didn't work. Guys, Mike's a bad person. <laughs> 
Mike's, Mike once told me that he fisted a female comedian we both know. I said, Mike, you don't have to say female comedian. That's a bucket of chicken. <laughs> Folks, he's trying, you know? <laughs> Uh, Colton is so ugly that people use him as a reference point at music festivals. <laughs> hey, I'm next to the guy that looks like a night school janitor. <laughs> His hairline's like gum caught in a couch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys followed all of that. <laughs> Mike has a tattoo of an ice cream cone on his hand. Uh, he's had to get his hand reattached four times, so. <laughs> Mike, you gotta slow down, buddy. You're gonna give yourself brain freeze. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Colton is 30. <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> Dude, I truly... Holy shit, what's your secret? Losing custody every day? <laughs> Mike, you don't look young. You're just so fat that your skin is always tight. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking retard. Calm down, body by Dollar General. <laughs> Dude, Mike is a bad person! <laughs> He's a bad guy! He's evil, he's like a sociopath. You guys don't know him, he's a fucking sociopath. He doesn't even care about calories. Uh, Colton looks like he got bit by a radioactive pedophile. <laughs> and it gave him the power to hide any file on the computer. My last joke. Uh, Mike, Mike, uh, actually, we used to live joke. together. We're good friends. This is the last one, Mike. Try to keep, try to keep up, retard. <laughs> Mike, uh, we used to live together. He has a blowjob robot that he bought in the mail. It, the Victimtron 3000. <laughs> hey, just remember, when you have an AI slave master one day, it's because we made them suck Mighty's gre Mike's greedy little dick. His greedy, sweaty little dick. That's why. Thank you. you. <laughs> Just remember. <laughs> you look like a crash test dummy that deserves it. Uh, <laughs> that was good. Uh, I can't tell if Colton looks more like Beetlejuice when he was alive or Philip Seymour Hoffman when he died. <laughs> Big round of applause, Colton Jones. Mike Eaton. Wow. Mike is actually for real evil, not part of the battle. <laughs> My favorite part is when you came out of character and stopped acting like a retard. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous. I've never been up here before. Thank you so much. Hey, fuck yeah. I love that. Hey, hey, Brian, Brian, are these judges? It looks like a jury. There's a lot of them. A lot of whites, you're right. A lot of whites. <laughs> yeah, I hate cops. They take you off the jury if you say that, so. <laughs> he says fuck 12 because his girlfriends are all that old. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, they're hitting after the bell. Freaky ass nigga, he is 69, guy. <laughs> all right, let's get to it, man. Uh, we, got, we got more battle, we got to get to this thing. Uh, all right, all right, by the way, one more time, Mike Eaton, Colton Jones, a lot of fun. I don't think I've ever seen anybody bat a thousand, but that was, uh, we'll eat a thousand calories in one meal. But, <laughs> but that was badass. Talk about it, Frank. This was, I mean, one more time, great fucking battle. You should both be very proud of yourselves. It was like every time someone would raise the bar, the other person would raise it even further. And it was crazy. It was so cold, and you had such great jokes. Even when you lost your cool, it just added to it even more. Mike, you just stayed in the pocket and had something funny every fucking time. Doug, just the way when you were like, Colton's 30, and it murdered. <laughs> it was just so rude. That's one of the meanest road shows I've ever seen. That was... That was okay, that but was how old does setup. Mike look? Like, how but old also, does Mike... It, it's so funny when you're like, he... <laughs> you're like, Mike... <laughs> Dog, I'm three years older than him. Dude, <laughs> seriously, 
Wait, does he not look old as fuck as well? Like, seriously. Dude, dude, the, the whole... It's a fucking joke. This is a I, manufactured... I, I like how cold... This battle brought to you by him. I like how... <laughs> Dude, dude you, th you two look like two Confederate soldiers who never left mess hall. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, Cole, when you said he's so fat, his skin's just tight, that shit, oh my God, it was, ah, uh, man, uh, yeah. Colton, you look like the penguin if he got a regular day job. Oh! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Mike, you look like if uh, you look like girls prefer your fingers over your dick. Uh, <laughs> that girl. Fingers don't get whiskey dick, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they stay hard the whole time, dog. Uh, that was so real. Fuck, this was really tough. Colton, I know it's your first time here. You should be very proud. Congratulations, you did a great job. Solid jokes. But Mike took it for me on this one. Good job, Mike. Good job, All Mike. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to Rachel here. Which one of these peanut-flavored M&Ms did you like? Okay, wow. Um, <laughs> you guys look like you have a type type 2 diabetes. Um, <laughs> um, it's hard to say. I think the real winner is obesity. Um, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> um, I loved Mike's double chin diesel, which the, the hanger joke. Um, Colton is 30, you know, was... Incredible. <laughs> um, uh, Colton, I love that you kept calling Mike a bad person and the audience kept laughing for validation. Um, <laughs> Not I, a joke, by the way. Totally real. <laughs> um, I look, uh, the care about calories joke, that was really good. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I think Mike had more jokes that landed, so I'm gonna give it to Mike, though. Oh, okay. Zach Amico, which one of these stem cells of you did you like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. Colton, you look like you hang out behind a mad scientist holding a jar with your own brain in it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you look like rebellious Bob's big boy. <laughs> I want to make hot dogs, Dad. <laughs> Glizzies. Uh, every battle. You guys are all so fucking funny tonight. Moses, whatever you're cooking up here, man, you're the king of this. The guys you bring out, the girls you bring out, I'm so fucking impressed. This battle was no goddamn different. Uh, Mike, by a hair. Hell yeah! <laughs> On that note, my man Pat actually booked the battle, so I'm gonna give him the credit, but who'd you like here, Pat? Uh, I mean, these guys both killed it. Um, Colton looks like Gru if the minions left him. Um... <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is up with this place? Go, go. Also, I love how Colton knows he's never going to be on this stage again, so he's like, I'm going to say every word that comes into my head. Um, no, it, it, you did a great job, live action Homer Simpson. It was, uh, it was really cool. And then, Mike, always great to see you. I didn't know they were making plus size ventriloquist dummies now. That's very cool. You can take your hand out of me now. Uh, <laughs> Never. Um, Colton, I love you attacked this thing like a prosecution attorney. You had an opening <laughs> argument, a closing argument. You attacked his character. You, you cast aspersions on everything he said. <clears throat> his jokes were better, but you effectively damaged him as a, as a person. I don't like him anymore. <laughs> I love I love the joke. I mean, the, the, I love the setup about the the blowjob machine. The punchline wasn't, but the the setup was great because I I saw Alexis panicking. You know, comedians we have like ChatGPT and Alexis is like they're coming for my job too. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude, they got blowjob machines and all the comics here have bigger tits than you do. You're, it's yeah. unbelievable. Um, but no, this was a this was this was a super super fun battle. You guys hit so many home runs up there. Really really good shit. Um, Colton, the getting the hand reattached because he keeps eating is very very funny to me. Um, but he called you thirty, man, and that was a knockout punch. Dude, he's literally the same fucking age as me. Yeah, but yeah, you look, but yeah, you yeah, look yeah. sixty. Do yeah, you not understand the joke? Yeah. What we're saying? Yeah, that's the whole. That's why they're laughing at you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look. Terrible. Yeah. Dude. You look yeah. yeah. Oh. Dude, I'm I'm sticking to the indie clubs. They never say this kind of shit to me. This is crazy. 
All right. I well, mean, hopefully a chick hears all this and is like, I'm going to fuck that guy. He looks beautiful. So, yeah, we're just going to keep laying it on. <laughs> I'm sticking to the She's going to peg him with a bag on his head. <laughs> well, that's fucked up. Yeah. For Colton, 30 is the new 50, so. Uh, I'm voting for Mike. All right. It's more for Mike. Uh, Alexis Fox, you heard what Pat said about their tits. <laughs> a little jealous, a little jealous. Uh, <laughs> Mike, uh, it's good seeing you again. You look really sharp tonight. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 dude, Someone's look. trying to get disappointed. <laughs> dude, she saw those fingers and was like, hello, eat. Hey, I like fingers. It's all right. <laughs> Um, I did feel that uh, Mike did land a lot, and uh, the crowd really enjoyed it. The the uh, <laughs> Colton is thirty was great. Um, Damn. And, and I do have to say, I really enjoyed so fat that your skin's so tight. I enjoyed that too. So, so I am uh, I'm gonna give it to Mike. Okay. <laughs> Catherine Bland, we're bringing it home. Dude, uh, you, guys, <laughs> you guys are so gay for each other. It's so cute. I can just tell. I really thought you were both gay. And then when you said you used to be roommates, I was like, I knew it. Um, <laughs> you guys hey, are so Catherine, gay. what's next to your career after the Hawk Tua video? <laughs> I'm going to swallow that thing. <laughs> No, You're I'm glad you guys tonight. fucked at your back at house job for the first time. Um, this was really fun. Colton, you look like you're trying to compete for the hostess job next. I like your cute little shirt. Um, <laughs> I love that Mike put on his nice Skechers. This was really fun. I, um... <laughs> you guys are gay. Okay. Um, no, you are. You look like if Texas casted Modern Family, you would be the gay couple because you're both the fat one. Um, but, but, but. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so, uh, no, it's really fun. Uh, Colton, I love how just dry and hateful you are and how, like, this might be the last time you're ever here. That was really cool. And then Mike, um, the double chin diesel was really funny. I, I'm going to give it to Mike, but so fucking fun. And congratulations awesome. on your love. Your winner, Mike Eaton! Hug each other, you two. One more big round of applause. Colton Jones, Mike Eaton. Battle. Battle, 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 battle. <laughs> oh, man. Colton is 30 should be on a fucking T-shirt. I've never seen people erupt. That was so mean what you guys did to that man. If he could find a rope that could fit around his neck, we wouldn't see him after tonight. God forbid he gets his hands on an elephant gun. All right, last battle of the night. Let's get into it. <laughs> last battle of the night. Are we excited? Yeah. I know I am. Ladies first here. Uh, make it loud for Austin's own Liz Splat. Hello. Good to see you, Liz. Hey, guys. Yes, even the women look like this. Here in Austin. I know, me and Brittany, all these fucking hot girls on the show. God, when are we gonna stop fucking our way to opportunities? Brittany lives in, in New York City. Stop doing that to her. Anyway. Brian, how about you stop doing it to us? You know what I'm saying? He's fucking us. You come over here. Ah, uh, you're right. All right. She's not wrong. They all wanna fuck me. I was fucking. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. All right. So uh, that's recorded, right? No, no. no. <laughs> I Together. own roast battle. You do. You do. You do. I would fuck Colton or Mike before you, though. <laughs> I know you love a thick bitch, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does that make you feel skinny when I'm talking about those two? <laughs> it does. His name is Moses because he's a part of your Red Sea. <laughs> It'd be the first time I've seen that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I, got, I got other jokes. Okay. You on your period? Huh? Nothing. All right, you're battling Lucas uh, McCreary. I'm about to, are you into that? Oh, sorry. Uh, no, yeah, I'm battling Lucas McCreary. Why? Um, well, Lucas and I have a show together every Wednesday at 8 p.m. at the Creek in the Cave. And um, he, he's always said that he wanted to fuck me. So... I thought that this would be a good opportunity for us to really get that chemistry boiling up. Let's get it. 
This guy's from uh, Tennessee, lives in Austin. Now make a laugh for Lucas McCreary. <laughs> Yes. Keep it going for the skinniest comic in Austin, everybody. I know. I know, another hot girl. <laughs> he has a body I would kill for. I, uh, I want to be clear. I did say I wanted to fuck Liz. I wanted to fuck her to death. I want this bitch to die. <laughs> oh, my God. The romance in the room is insane. <laughs> All right, so you want to fuck her to death, uh, but why'd you want to battle her? I fucking hate this bitch. I fucking hate her. I fucking hate her, and you all will see why. She's a fucking, fucking, fuck bitch. I'm a fucking, fucking, fuck bitch, dude. Okay, uh, this is one round. It's five jokes. Last battle of the night. Who's got it first? Ladies first. <laughs> Love that joke. What the Last <laughs> battle of the night. Let's make it so that we fucking break this bitch. Luca! Battle! 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 battle, battle, battle Lucas! Battle, Liz! Let's rock! Uh, so Liz, uh, she can actually make that coochie talk. Yeah, she make that thing talk. It says... <laughs> Water. Water. Well, you my coochie's translator, bitch. <laughs> Cause you're gonna be trans later. <laughs> All right, so. Why did you come to fucking? Guys, please. <laughs> well, you're gonna be Can trans later. Gonna get a train <laughs> ran on you Lucas. later, bitch. Enough. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone likes to talk about Lucas's pronouns. But I know one thing, Lucas is pronouns and he's anti-Semitic. <laughs> okay, sorry. He I... thinks the Jews are controlling his sexuality. <laughs> Should've should have cold stopped there. <laughs> Why'd you say that? <laughs> Liz, I got you, I got you a uh, fucking uh, mint cause you're talking a lot of shit right now. <laughs> Uh, Liz. <laughs> Dumbass. <She. laughs> walked right into that one, didn't you? Liz, uh, she calls herself a pog. Uh, Liz is always uh, mixing up her P's and H's. <laughs> let, me, let me talk to you, Liz, in your language. Uh, hello, Liz. How are you? Uh, you are a pog. Your hussy smells like hiss. What the fuck is this? Oh, let me talk to you in your mom's language. <laughs> My mom's fuck a pig. Your mom's a pig ass bitch. All right. Uh, Lucas is actually addicted to fucking baristas. Because the best part about waking up is having a trans woman in your butt. His quote, his quote, not mine. We aren't gonna pretend like those aren't the hottest people ever. <laughs> Fucking a barista, okay. Yeah, yeah talk about my eight inches too. Why don't you tell them all my accomplishments? <laughs> I, uh, I got you some toilet paper because you talking shit. <laughs> Dumbass. Are they allowed? Is he allowed to do this twice? That's not. Doesn't seem fair. Now, Liz uh, obviously likes to have sex with black men and. <laughs> I, uh, he, she brought one here, and... <laughs> Are you so, black or Mexican? It doesn't matter. Hey, I don't ask questions. Come uh, on, Liz... <laughs> I walked in on Liz, uh, she, I walked in on her last week, and she was shoving a bunch of cantaloupes inside of her vagina. And, yeah, it was like five, six, seven cantaloupes she kept sh throwing up inside of her, uh, shoving up. And I said, what are you doing, Liz? And she said, what? I'm trying to get some melon in. I was just trying to see if we cantaloupe. I don't want to say this too early, but you're all retarded. <laughs> 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 and 
and I don't want that to fuck me up because you seem to like me, but you're retarded. Um, Lucas, uh, it looks like as you, with uh, Lucas, hey, bitch. <laughs> hey. hey, you filthy slut. Uh, you seem like the kind of kid that was the first kid that bought Barbie dolls to put penises on them. You were like, now she's perfect. <laughs> okay. I you guys didn't like the little penises on the Barbies? I swear, to, I don't know what you said. All I heard was, because <laughs> you talking shit. Bro, seriously, you got one more time. You got I one do. more fucking got, time with that shit. I got two more planned, so. Uh, Liz, uh, I, I actually, I read this in a, an article. There's uh, uh, the three deadliest uh, bodies of water. It's the Red Sea, the Dead Sea, and Liz's Poo Sea. <laughs> Sink or swim, bitches! <laughs> Come in here, get eight. Okay, no, sorry. Uh, Lucas's sister is a lesbian. Uh, they're identical twins. <laughs> the thing is, Lucas, Lucas is the one that doesn't get any girls. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gay! Okay. Yeah, sorry, my sister is a fucking, a fucking dyke beast. Sorry. Yeah, God is sorry too. Oh, gay, gay pride crowd. I like that. It's cool. <laughs> That helps me out, guys. Thanks. Uh, three men have actually died while inside Liz. Yeah, thank God she installed that lighthouse. You don't say that about me! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Take it back! Hold on, I got more, bitch. Hold on. Liz. I pulled the gun too early! <laughs> too early. I'm gonna do it again in a second. <laughs> you finish your thing. Liz has... Uh... <laughs> No, my bad. I jumped the gun. <laughs> Liz, you're getting off of pure charisma right now. No. <laughs> Liz, how your pussy got longitude and latitude? Stop that! <laughs> I, uh, actually, I, I sent a recorder into Liz's pussy, and I, I was able to record some audio. Do you guys want to hear the, the audio from inside Liz's vagina? Oh my God, is that what you were doing in there? Like that, Brian? There's some extra room in there. No, wait, I got one more. <laughs> Lucas puts the they, them, and they should kill themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Liz Black! Lucas McCreary! And for those at home, this guy's not black, like at all. The fuck? <laughs> it's like Cuban or something, that's wild. Anyway, uh, that's black to you, Lucas? That's the most racist shit I've ever heard in my life. Wait, this guy's not yeah, black? Yeah, I, I forgot to mention that Lucas is racist as fuck. Okay, well this guy definitely says the N-word though. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah, he literally said well, yeah, he's, yeah, he's Spanish, he says nosotros. My Spanish people. All right. Uh, speaking of Spanish, Zach and Mako. Which one? Wait, of these, what? Which, which one of these annoying people did you like? What the fuck? You're both great. Uh, Lucas, you like hot Tignataro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm like hot what? <laughs> <laughs> you look like Chucky's daughter, Chunky. <laughs> I love that you had a gun in your back pocket and a gun in the front. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, you can't tell with the jacket, right? You guys are fucking funny as fuck. I really like you guys. Uh, uh, Liz, you work here at the, uh, the mothership, right? Yeah, we both work at the you mothership. That's awesome. I didn't know a comedy club needed a lunch lady. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck did you think was funnier, Zach? <laughs> 
I, I gotta say, I was about to vote for Lucas, but your they them joke put me on your side. I'm going Liz on that one. Okay, it's not fair. She's been on her phone looking at Uber Eats this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Catherine Blanford, this battle had a lot of props. Who'd you uh, like in this This one? was so fucking fun. I love you guys. Um, you guys are, 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 are so fun. You look like like you both, um, your day is ruined when black men enter it, but for different reasons. Um, I, like oh, yeah. black, I like black guys. Yeah, I, you practice that in the mirror three times every morning. <laughs> um, That's his Bloody Mary? Yeah, I like... I like... Um, no, it's really cool. I love to see you guys get along. I love to see the children of Miss Piggy and Kermit getting oh! along. I think... Bro, one... she kind of on point with that. <laughs> <laughs> that one was really fair. Um, no, it was, it was really fun. She called you Kermit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys are so much fun. I love, the, I love uh, Lucas. I love the, the sound effects at the end. Um, but, dude, Liz... Your fucking comebacks, the jam translator, and then the fucking cantaloupe, and then and then the, the jump the gun, and they put it's it was shut up, Lucas. It was really good, uh, and then the, they then put me over the edge. So I'm going with Liz. Yeah. Thank you. All right. This is fucking bullshit. Alexis Fox, who'd you like, Gumby from Gumby and Friends or Piglet from Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was absolutely funny, super funny with the gun. Oh my god! Um, <laughs> yeah, who'd you I, like? Please, su- <laughs> please, know, please support me. I financially supported you. <laughs> <laughs> that is illegal in the state. Hold on, Alexis, you got a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I strap one on, you never know. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> me too. <laughs> All right. I absolutely love your unhinged energy. It's just absolutely good, Liz. Um, you had so many good comebacks. I'm going to go with you. Yes! <laughs> if Can there's I? anything Alexis knows, it's a good comeback. <laughs> subscribe on the, the, on the thing you can't subscribe on. Uh, Rage. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> a lot has transpired here. Liz looks like she could fix your transmission, and Lucas is in transition. Um, <laughs> she got your bitch. To defeat Liz was my transmission. <laughs> uh, Liz likes to call herself a pog, which stands for a pretty ass white gorilla. Um, <laughs> but she said I was pretty, though. So. You are pretty. You are pretty. Um, <laughs> I Pretty you... fat. No, I'm just kidding. I love you. Uh, that was so um, good. <laughs> okay, this was... <laughs> you say pretty fat? Yeah, no, but I'm going to kill your bitch ass. <laughs> oh, your sister you know... <laughs> a judge will judge this, bitch. You know I love you, Liz. Um, don't shoot <laughs> mustard at her. <laughs> I love how Texas is like, you guys have banned porn, but this is okay, this fucking pink ass gun? <laughs> She said, but yes. <laughs> we ban porn, and yet we see a, a whole room of people fucking a twink right now. Um, I loved uh, trans- Liz's translator joke. Um, Lucas's pussy joke was... <laughs> yeah, Liz- we forget about how good mine were, too. Yeah, Liz- Liz's rent-free in my head. Um, but forget. really what, like took it home for me was Liz's they them joke themselves joke so I'm, I'm gonna give it to Liz but I love you Lucas so oh I don't know I just don't think we should joke about that kind of thing but I uh. am I don't regret any of the blowjobs I gave tonight all right this is working out in my favor you're all winning right. over the judges but I know that I have um, a crowd favorite Let's go. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck he yeah. said by, by, oh, by, sorry, uh, what'd you say? By the way... Uh, oh, by sorry, the, what'd you say? By the way, on paper, Lucas absolutely should have won. He worked so hard and wrote jokes. I watched Liz write shit literally <laughs> before she came up on stage. Shut the fuck <laughs> up, Frank! <laughs> she, I cannot believe you just betrayed me! She murdered with charisma. It is insane. I don't know what Wait, I just watched. I really want to tell them the noodle joke I had, I but do we not. Have to, You're okay. on such a high right now. <laughs> Okay, can we make a deal, though? Can we make a deal? If it bombs, she loses. It's gonna bomb. You're gonna win. Do I listen? (laughs) Oh, my God. I'm gonna lose this whole thing based on this. All right. 
Yeah, you look like a noodle without sauce on it. I call him a noodle because this fool's silly. <laughs> All right, good job, Roseanne Barr doing roast battle. What the fuck were we watching? Here's my impression of men's noodle when they're with Liz. <laughs> Same good. color, too. Same color, everything, yeah. <laughs> oh, my. No. This is, uh, Dude, that's this, verbatim, actually. Yeah. And Liz, there's three of them. I'm going to need a guardian angel hair. <laughs> Liz, you look like Larry the Cable Guy's uh, daughter. The Liz, the Liz the streaming girl. Anyways. Um, oh, that sounds kind of hot. Liz, you take it, and it's you took it. You didn't. I don't want to give it to you. You fucking took it. Good job. Thanks. Yeah. So, wait, was it... Fuck you, Frank. You can't even have a girl come 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 in their mouth. Fuck you. <laughs> Dumbass. Wow. Real. Yeah. Why don't you come over here, Frank? We'll get a first time for everyone. <laughs> huh? Here you go, bitch. Spit on that thing. All right. Pat, who'd you like here? Celine Dion or Lizzo? Yeah. I, I was... Hold on. I was... Hold wait, on. Which is which? what? Uh, uh, what? what? <laughs> uh, uh, huh? huh? I, I was, okay. I was going to say that this was a great battle between the two hottest women of 1977. <laughs> if you've ever seen an Literally? old Playboy, they all look just like this. Um, this is pre so and post AIDS. And, and I don't... <laughs> Listen, I don't... I don't think it's fair. And who gave us AIDS right there? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, it's HIV. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? You'd be dead if it was AIDS. You no, see, no, and they no, proved it didn't come from that. You it's HIV. <laughs> you sound pretty positive. That's my motherfucking boy right there. Absolute show. Creek in the cave. Hey, we got it. <laughs> We gotta end this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think it's funny to make fat jokes about Liz. She had to eat all those popsicles so you guys could have jokes tonight. Um, it was popsicle stick humor. It was very uh, translator, what? can't elope. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm why you're on the sidelines, sorry? bitch. All right. I, it hey, Pat, get your fat ass out of here, bitch. Okay. Uh, <laughs> why don't you judge your diet? <laughs> I'm like the skinniest comic here tonight. What the other than you? Oh, Catherine, you gonna take that shit, bro? <laughs> All right, everybody drink Neff vodka. I'm voting for Liz. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck! Folks, the last winner of the night, Miss Liz Black. Hug each other. Wow. It, I'm not gonna lie, it's so funny. Liz was like, I think people find me annoying sometimes. <laughs> it was like, yeah. She's not wrong. Uh, <laughs> keep it going for all the battlers you saw tonight. That's the Rose Battle League Austin you saw tonight. They do two shows a month. Friday nights over at the Creek in the Cave. And our, uh, our artist over here, my man Ulysses, just painted a picture of our Rose Battle League commissioners. Make it loud. Badass. I love it. One more time for MC Lunchbox. And let's talk to my firing squad. Zach and Miko, where can these folks find you? Uh, follow me on Instagram at Zach is not funny. And you can see me in August at the gathering of the Juggalos. Yeah! <laughs> Finally, by the way. Finally. It's been a long time. It should have happened. Uh, Alexis Fox, where can these people not find you in this state? <laughs> Foxfans.com. No, <laughs> you can find me on Instagram, Alexis Fox Live. Beautiful. Catherine Blanford. Uh, you can find me at, at It's Catherine Blanford. I've got a special coming out. I don't have a date yet, but it's called Catholic Cowgirl. <laughs> Ms. You, Wolfson. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Rachel Wolfson and follow my podcast at Rachel Interrupted. Love it. Castillo. Frank Castillo. Uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram, Frank Castillo, and I'll be in the parking lot getting high. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. We love LSD. All right. Uh, 
Pat, tell them about the podcast. Tell them about some Nef Vodka. Yeah, watch watch our podcast. Uh, it, it drops every Tuesday. We have full new episodes of Roast Battle coming out every Thursday. Subscribe to YouTube. Uh, it's just subscribe to Roast Battle on YouTube. Follow us at Roast Battle on Instagram. And I just want to say tonight's show was smoother than a barrel of Neft Vodka. <laughs> 40% alcohol by volume, made to match the body fat percentage of most of the comics tonight. <laughs> we love your comedy mothership. Tip your waist down. We'll see you next month.